Hi, here we have a person who has a certain amount with him goes to the market. He can buy 50 oranges or 40 mangoes. So the with the amount that he has, he can either buy 50 oranges or 40 mangoes. Okay, so let's say the total amount with him is T rupees. The cost of one orange is O rupees. So the cost of 50 oranges will be 50 into O. So the total amount must be equal to 50 O. Similarly, if the cost of one mango is M, the cost of 40 mangoes will be 40 into M. So the total amount will be 40 into M. So T should be equal to this or this. So what effectively we have is 40 into M is equal to 2 T which is equal to 50 O. So 40 M is equal to 50 O. That means cancelling out a factor of 10, we have 4 M is equal to 5 O. Fine. Next. Now what he does is he retains 10% of the amount for taxi fare and buys 20 mangoes with him. So let's say the total amount with him is 50 O. So he initially he has 50 O rupees out of which for taxi he retains 10% of this. That means he retains 5 O. The remaining amount is 45 O. Out of this 45 O what he does is he buys uh, 20 mangoes. So sorry uh, he is buying mangoes right. So let's do one thing let's start with M and not O. So initially he has 40 M rupees with him. Out of this 40 M he keeps 10% of it that means 4 M for taxi and the amount remaining now will be 40 M minus 4 36 M. This is the amount remaining. Now with this amount he first of all buys 20 mangoes. So he buys 20 mangoes since each mango costs M rupees. So 20 mangoes will cost 20 into M rupees. So the amount remaining with him now is 16 into M. Okay. And now with this amount, he goes to buy oranges. So the number of oranges that he can purchase is what? Now 16M will be equal to let's say X into O where O is the price of each orange. So this is the amount left with him and this should be equal to x into o where x is the number of oranges that he can purchase. So here x comes out to be 16 m upon o, right? So this is 16 times of m upon o. Now what is m upon o? m upon o is 5 by 4. So instead of m upon o, we can write 5 by 4. 16 goes by 4, 4 times 4 into 5 is 20. Hence x comes out to be 20. So with the remaining amount, he can buy 20 oranges. Option D here is the right answer. So basically what we have is the price of 16 mangoes is same as price of 20 oranges which could have been obtained by multiplying this with 4. 16M would be equal to 20O. That means 16 mangoes are equivalent to 20 oranges. So he could have bought 20 oranges with the remaining amount. Thank you.